some over four hours away. An elderly woman in her 70s has been thrown out of a matrimonial home at Kalio in the Nadoli Kalio district of the Upper West region over witchcraft claims. Now, Koliyam Banchumbo has uh, also been chased out by her husband for allegedly being responsible for the death of their two sons. The couple were married for many years and blessed with two adult males. The elderly son was a tractor operator and had three children, while the younger one was unemployed and had two children. However, as fate would have it, the two sons passed in succession in 2018 and 2019. The mysterious deaths then became a turning point for the rather loving couple. The head of a family, Kobina Bwambom, returned home one night shortly after the burial of the last son to launch an attack on a wife, Na Kulein Banchimu. He accused her of being responsible for the death of their two sons. No amount of words were enough to calm nerves. Kobina Bwambom was alleged to have physically assaulted his wife and ordered her to leave the matrimonial home. Na Kolien has been living in this deplorable abandoned structure since the last quarter of 2019. On a good day, Na Kolien Banchimu would go to bed on roasted granites. Na Kolien Banchimu was full of tears when she opened up. She recounted that fateful night her husband shocked her to the marrow. That was months after the demise of her two children. <laughs> I am from Dong. My husband met me at Kumase, brought me home, and we got married. We were blessed with two males, nurtured them to adulthood. Unfortunately, both died mysteriously in secession, and that sparked my woes. From nowhere, my husband accused me of being the cause of their death. I was beaten, battered, and thrown out of the matrimonial home without any proof. She alleged her husband threatened to shoot her to death if she dared him by returning to the house. My husband threatened to kill me. My two daughters-in-law also shunned me after the incident. It's been three years since now. And this is where I find myself with no food and no one to tend to. I have to stand on my feet at night any time it rains and sometimes for days. At this point, I wish I were dead. Nakulin Banchimu's only support comes from her stepson, Stephen Nyayale, who is unemployed. I am her only hope, yet unemployed. I come in when I have enemies. Because I go and hustle around, sometimes a week or even months before I get back to her. How she feeds within those periods, only God knows. This place is not a death trap. Yes, she has no option. She needs urgent help. Stephen Nyayala's best and only wish is to see his homeless stepmother relocated from the death trap. Very sad story right there. But selected officers and investigators.